All right, thanks a lot, Ben. Some folks concerned about a homeless encampment off Emory Highway in East Macon. Many say they simply want to help. One property owner says they've called law enforcement to assist. Camila Williams is live on Emory Highway near that encampment to tell us more. Yeah, good evening, Frank. I went to Troopers Collision Center to see if anyone knew about the homeless situation across Emory Highway. And I was told at least 100 people live in that encampment. And the owner says that this part of East Macon is fairly quiet, but he has seen people walking around outside his shop. Hopefully progress. I mean, I think there's a lot of progress in our area. John Typel has owned Troopers Collision Center for almost four decades. He says lately he has seen homeless people walking around this area and come over to his lot. We don't leave anything out anymore after they started doing this, but they would uh, steal gas from us. More than 100 people reportedly live in the tent city off Emory Highway. Typel says he's heard that they have a generator there and he believes they're stealing gas from the cars on his lot to stay warm. But that wasn't the only thing. But one morning we did open the back door and one <laughs> jumped out of a, the bed of a pickup truck that we had parked back there. Typel says the homeless people need help and that's why the United Ways United to End Homelessness program worked with county agencies to help. The first step on Tuesday, assessing the encampment. We lead a collaborative effort to address the public health and public safety concerns that we see in local encampments. Reverend Jake Hall with United to End Homelessness says they use agencies like Macon Bibb County Code Enforcement and the Daybreak Shelter to see how people are living and address their concerns, whether it be criminal or mental health. He says the primary concern is housing and this encampment needed a team approach. And in this case, we're simply taking a, a more in-depth assessment of what's happening. Typel says the people in the encampment need help, but only if they want it. I don't know their people, and they need to be taken care of in some way. Now, Macon Bibb County has cleared out previous uh, homeless camps in previous years, like the one near off Mulkey River and the one at the bus terminal uh, station on Spring Street. Hall told me that they do plan to keep using this collaborative approach to get help for the people here in Macon. Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Camila. Jake Hall says agencies will be out in the street using a collaborative approach to try and find more ways to help the homeless.